Hi everyone, Anitra here, and I wanted to show you some items I made for a swap I'm in over at Your Paper Pantry. It's the Bobbles, Bangles, and Beads um, group. And this month, for the month of this November, we were to make uh, beaded icicles. Um, and it was hosted by Stephanie, who is Little Red Wagon Studios on YouTube. Hi, Steffi. And <clears throat> she had some inspirational pictures on the site, so I just kind of follow that idea um, and here are some of the ones I made this one's um, in lavender and like purples and then this is my little shabby chic looking one I wish I had better lighting but it's rainy and cold here and we're in a what's it called a winter storm advisory or something or other um, but luckily my post office is just down the street, so um, I'm just going to pop these off. Because they're supposed to be sent off today. I don't know if you can see, but I wrap wire around there. It's very afraid to focus. There you go, you can kind of see it there. And then here's the blue one. So those are my icicles. I was going to kind of show you how I did it because I know Linda had wanted to know um, how I wrapped the wire. And I just took um, a 16 gauge piece of wire and I cut this one at 16 inches, between 16 and 17 inches. And I just take my, I don't know if you can see my brain, what are these called, pliers, and um, I would bend it, I get an L. Just to kind of hold the beads as I put them on. And I already had these little beads in order, so... I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's in the right order. So you want to make sure your beads even fit on this wire, though, because this is a bit of a thicker wire. So I cracked a couple of glass beads. There's a pearl, and then I've been adding um, beads and then bead caps and spacers, and uh, how I did it, I did it in graduating size. Well, I'll keep the smaller on the bottom, and then it gets bigger on the top, kind of like an icicle would, would form. How it's going so far. Where did I get these beads? Um, I got them from just different places, like Joann's and Michael's, whenever they have their sale. And then Tuesday mornings it had some beads on so I think I picked up a couple over there. Just keep adding. And I'm leaving um, a space at the top because I'm going to be able to put a... So there's that. Where are we at? <clears throat> and then to stop this I would take my pliers and I'd, I'd bend it, bend the wire, and I would cut it just to make, I don't have wire cutters here, okay, let me cut it real quick. Here we go. Because I know I want to make a little loop for a, mm, And then how I did it, I just kind of, with my thumb, it's like a little guide, I kind of just wrapped it around. And I mean, using my thumb, I kind of just made it form into a spiral. And I would just wrap it around, kind of bending it with my thumb as it goes around. And then if I see it needs a little bit more bend, I just go ahead and use my thumb to wrap it around, to bend around my thumb. You can kind of see how it's starting to curve. Oops. Curve around there. Again, I would just wrap it. And my thumb seems to work better than, say, my fingers. And I know you can't see that because I'm holding onto the wire, but see how it starts to wrap around like that. I just, I just thought I wanted to try that out and see if it would work, and it did. I like the way it looked. Um, 
but the 16 inch gauge wire is a little bit um, more malleable than maybe some of the heavier gauges. So I know these are going to be wrapped up really well in bubble wrap so that wire doesn't get bent out of shape too much. So there I am coming up to the top. And I'd probably make this a little tighter. And I would wrap it around this wire and then make my, my loop. But that's it. That's how I did that. Probably make it... See? God, if I could just figure out where this camera is. And that's it. So that's how I'm sending them off. I'm sending four so Steffi can pick which one she wants to choose. And I hope the other three who get them likes them. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.